Welcome back to Tokyo on Fire. People often ask how the economy is going in Japan. Just this week, the government released GDP figures for this last quarter. It's looking like they just missed the bullet. Well, they missed everyone's expectations, and there was a, a great deal of consternation that, well, okay, we're in what is now the third year of Abenomics. Things should be kicking in. They should be there, kicking. there are international headwinds, but the policy mix is right, and eventually, no. Right. We, we got a, a, a very poor reading on, in terms of an annualized of 0.2% uh, that basically means that the economy did not grow from quarter to quarter between the, the first and the second. And that's not where we're supposed to be. That's not what you're supposed to have right. after having one of the greatest expansions of the Bank of Japan's book of any bank that is central bank that has ever attempted. When you have uh, relatively small but still significant fiscal pa packages, and we're supposed to have all kinds of spin-off effects from the third arrow reforms. We're not seeing anything from right. that, and that has been a real disappointment. And just as, just as we were coming on to do this recording, the government released its trade figures, and that's really someplace where everything is going wrong. We have the headwinds of the, the yen is now where, where we're sitting right now. It's about 100 to the dollar. We've seen the, the yen rise in value over this in this spring and in this into this summer, so that that's constricting exports, and we're just n nowhere near. In fact, the, the the figures are quite shocking. The uh, exports fell by f by fourteen percent, I believe, and at that point, we're talking about significant losses of economic growth potential. Right. To of Toyota course, made a, a significant hit. Yeah, the, all the autos are getting hit very right. badly due to the, the high yen and the slowdown in China. So that whatever our hopes are regarding mm -hmm. the Japanese economy, the world seems to be, you know, the, 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 the article in, that came out in the middle of the week was, Japan can't catch a break. Right. And certainly that's the way it looks. Well, the IMF has also thrown in uh, their two cents and said, uh, Abenomics just isn't working. Well, it just isn't working, that it isn't doing what is necessary. The IMF has its own bugbears, of course, and things that it will do, what, wants a country to do and what, what it doesn't. Everyone's talking, however, about what all these bad figures mean for the fiscal stimulus package. Right. And that fiscal stimulus package was passed by the cabinet. It hasn't been made into actual legislation yet, but it, it has been approved by the cabinet back a few weeks ago. Now, what, what's in that stimulus package, it's a huge number, but the, the actual fraction that is real new spending is about one third or, or one quarter of the total announced value of 26 trillion. The government is really running up against its own promises. It's used so many tricks, it doesn't have many tricks left. There aren't that many tricks left, and one of the most disturbing aspects of that is we know that the bond market is entirely bought out by the BOJ, mm -hmm. and that there is a situation where the BOJ is basically the only buyer of Japanese bonds. It's a great buyer because it says that it, it will buy everything that you have for, for sale, which is great if you want to make a few extra yen here and there, you know you have a guaranteed buyer. But it's also becoming the main stockholder of Japan. It is now the main right. stockholder of many of Japan's largest companies. And that is really kind of disturbing that assets of all kinds. Yes, of course, when you're doing quantitative easing, you do have to buy assets of various kinds, but the bond market is compromised, and now the equities markets are right. becoming compromised. My concern is what, is, what happens on the day that Mr. Kuroda says, well, we've bought enough, that's an it. <laughs> you know? what, is going, what is the value of a bond? What is the value of, an, of, of a share? When there's that one buyer who was buying everything walks away from the mm -hmm. market. Right. 
Well, fiscal policy is one of the pillars of supporting the, the economy. Well, it better be since the monetary is not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. But the other engine is personal consumption, which seems to be flat. Well, personal consumption is something that everyone has been talking about. If we can only get the Japanese to spend, well, geez, Louise, uh, there are 200 to 300,000 fewer Japanese per year, and you're wor working against a significant headwind. You're right. losing 300,000 customers per year through natural attrition, otherwise known as they die. <laughs> Okay, we don't have that many Japanese being born, right. and we have a huge lump of this group of people who were born immediately after World War II, right. who are now retiring, or in this case, passing on. And we had a net loss of almost 300,000 last year. We're going to have that going on for year after year. Mm -hmm. And if you lose 300,000 customers a year, your businesses are just simply not going to be able, first of all, to sell anything, but they're also not going to be able to raise their prices. Right. Well, the other component here are wages. I mean, Japanese wages have not risen significantly in the last 15 years. Well, the, 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 and it's certainly under Abenomics, you would have thought with everything that, that has, has happened that this would be the age when people's wages would be, would be climbing. But the overall income of all Japanese workers, despite the fact that many more people are working, particularly women right. than, bef than were before, and with all of the monetary stimulus, Actual nominal, and that, that, that takes into effect the monetary expansion, actual nominal take-home pay has not budged an iota right. under Abenomics. Mm -hmm. They're pushing against a really, really, it's like a brick wall. One of the stars of economic development here in Japan, though, are, is tourism. And tourism had a big, with the big announcement that we had a 19% rise in in tourist arrivals in July as com of this last of the 2016 as compared to 2015. Fantastic, wonderful, great. Right. Uh, they are not spending. As They're not much. spending as much because of the the yen, though. They're not spending as much because of the yen. They're also the uh, the big China boom seems to be petering out. Mm -hmm. We see right. uh, retailers like Laox, the, the electronics uh, giant, that in fact tilted itself toward the, the Chinese market in a big way, they're taking huge losses. And this Bakugai phenomenon of, of buying things en masse, it actually changed the physical structure of some of the, the retailers. Where I, I buy some of my uh, electronics at Yamada Denki. It's inexpensive. It's here, at least here in Tokyo. They completely changed their floor plans. They used to have big video screens on the first floor mm -hmm. when you walked in. They moved those all upstairs because that was not what the Chinese were here to buy. It was all personal health care products. And are rice cookers. And things like that are on the floor. Toiletries. Yeah, rice cookers. On right. the, when, when you walk in to a, an electronics store, the, the rice cookers would be there rather than on the sixth floor. Was a, What's happened? And he realized, it's Chinese money. Well, that's going to all have to be re-undone. Re uh, that we have this growth, yes, but it, it's stagnant again. Analysts have predicted for GDP to grow this year by 0.7%. With This is our second quarter. We're at 0.2%. They really need to get the act going if they're going to meet those numbers in the next remaining two quarters. And there's really no way to do it. The main weaknesses are personal consumption and corporate investment. There is simply no lever that the government has that can push on either of those mm -hmm. two things. There can be more government spending, but already we're pushing the limits as to the effectiveness of that. And there's no Spin-off effects. There mm -hmm. are no. There's no. There's no leverage that you get out of the extra spending. Right. It's just maintaining the size of the economy, but at a cost of someday it'll have to be paid it back by somebody because it's being fueled by debt. Okay. In the next quarter, we can anticipate that there will be another blip, a positive blip on the GDP numbers. But what comes after that is really a question. Please stay tuned. We're going to be watching this very carefully.